my grandmother was a, a will hat. Not, a, not really a will hat when, she, when her folks left Germany, they were will hoits. And they moved uh, down in what is known as Will I Station. And Will I Station was named after my great grandfather, uh, uh, Drake, I mean, uh, Will Height. But uh, as I say, they were called Will Heights and not Will Hoyts. And that, uh, uh, we still own that property, me and my first cousin's wife down there in Will Height Station at, at the foot of Lake Hunt Mountain. And there's a graveyard over there, and uh, and all of them are buried over there. And uh, Jack Will Height, by the way, was my grandfather's name, my great grandfather. And and incidentally, he was a uh, what's the president's name from Texas? Uh, Johnson. Johnson. Uh, 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 and we connected up there with the Johnsons. The Johnsons came through this part of, of coming on down through the on their way to Texas. The, uh, some of the Johnson family uh, of that president's and we ch checked it out and 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 kind of hooked it up to, yeah. to President Johnson and and uh, and anyhow and, and back in those days when they were coming through a lot of a lot of people were going going west you know uh, a lot of them had some kind of fever and a lot of them died and so in that graveyard there's some names it's not Johnson's or Will, Will Heights, and the, the, we, I, I don't never did know any of a lot, about half of them because they they were just coming through and they got the fever or something there and was buried in that graveyard with with the Will Heights. So anyhow, a uh, strange thing happened there. My, my, my grandfather and me used to take care of that graveyard. We used to every when the decorations started every year at these churches throughout the county uh, uh, we would go down and and clean that graveyard up and it was always real growed up you know had a lot of uh, stuff growing in it and we'd go down and, and we'd work a day just me and him down there cleaning that graveyard up and it was pretty far back off the highway it was up on the hill there now this was before the four lane went through yeah mm -hmm. so which side of the graveyard was the highway at the time well, the highway at the time was on the uh, east side. On the east side? Yeah. Okay. It was on the east side, and uh, and uh, so we, uh, that was when the, when the highway started uh, being built as super highways and big four-lane highways, uh, they had a problem there they ran into, and that was Herman Nelson was the highway director at that time. And he knew, uh, you know, I'd just been elected to the legislature in 63, and Herman uh, knew, uh, you know, that I was connected in there with some way. Uh, my family was and that owned that graveyard. And so he called me in his office and he said, Tom, <clears throat> he said, we got a real problem at the foot of uh, the mountain over uh, at Lake Con. He said, uh, it's going to cost us an enormous amount of money to build that uh, four lane through that mountain. He said, if you'll let us go along the edge of that mountain, edge of that mountain, we can save the state a lot of money and we uh, won't have as much trouble building that highway because that's very costly if you get up in the mountains building a highway. And he said, I want to tell you something that I'll agree to do if you will get word to the wheel hats and I said well what do you want me to do he said you tell them if they will uh, let us go on the uh, western side and there's plenty of room over there before you get in the mountains to build that highway but we we can't do it otherwise unless we go right over to the edge of the mountain so I, I, he said if you'll go talk to them and tell them that I will see that that road is, I mean that graveyard is kept clean every year. Uh, we'll make sure it's uh, clean and we'll keep it up. We'll, we'll take that job on. And I came back and I tell, told all the wheel hats, there's a lot of wheel hats out there by the way, and, and that's where they settle in that part of the country. And in, incidentally, they are German. 
and so I got ugh, <laughs> German blood in me. So uh, I went back and I mean I came up and talked to all the Wilhites, uh, older Wilhites, and, and I told them what Herman said. And they, they all liked Herman Nelson and they, they said we're going to take you up on that. So uh, they, they uh, let them go through there. And <clears throat> And interesting things happened, though, since then. Uh, I, uh, as a matter of fact, just recently I called them. The, the, the graveyard started, I noticed, kind of growing up a little bit. And, and it's a historical site. They got a, some plaques there that tell it's about being a historical site. So I called the highway director and I of Alabama. I can't remember his name, but I, I called him and I said, what about the uh, graveyard out there, the Wilhite graveyard? He said, well, what about it? I said, well, uh, we have a contract with y'all that y'all will keep it up forever if you let the highway go through there during uh, Herman Nelson's day. And uh, he said, you got a, a document showing that? And I said, in, those, in the days we did that, we didn't have to take documents. We took a man at his word. And I said, I'm going to, uh, I took it in his word, and we're going to expect that graveyard to be cleaned up. So I went down in a few days, and it's cleaned up, and it's still being cleaned up. 